Yo, what it do, fam? I hope everybody's having a great day. And nah, I don't got no chapstick. I got more like Vaseline because my lips are dry as hell and they end up burning. So I had to put Vaseline on my lips so they could at least stay some kind of moisturized. But I'm feeling a little sleepy because I took my pill just a little while ago and. That hoe even says don't drive no vehicle or nothing that fucking moves. And I, I thought it was once a day because that's what the doctor told me. Well, on the label it says every 12 hours, meaning I took it like at 627, meaning that I would have to take it again at 627 in the morning. But I don't think that's going to happen because if it does, I'm capable of sleeping on my motherfucking job. But, um... If I have to take it, I have to take it, though. It's just for the better. From what I was told from the doctors is that um, my kidneys, they, they're thinking something is wrong with my kidneys. And the only thing, the solution is they don't want my kidneys to give out. So something about I have a real bad infection in my stomach. It, it's probably to do with surgery. For those of y'all that don't know, I had surgery about two months ago. And it was a big procedure that I had done because I had a lot of my organs removed. So they think it's something to do like that because they did my history and like my past. And they said like I never really had got any kind of like, you know, or what I have now, like infections in my stomach. So they're trying to prevent everything that they can. And then I had to go to a specialist soon. I gotta make a phone call to schedule an appointment so a specialist can see me so they can run more tests on me. Because when it comes to your kidneys, as y'all know, your kidneys, with your kidneys and your liver is two important things like in our body besides our heart and our brain and everything else. But once those shut down, they completely start sh shutting down everything like from they from your brain to your to your heart to everything so that's one thing they do not want to happen so that's why they're gonna send me out to a specialist so a specialist could actually see me or whatever and um but yeah that's what's been going on but like i said i really in these cases i would literally get traumatized and like so affected by it but i already been through so much shit they told me when i was around 13 years old they told me that i wouldn't make it to 21 thank god today i'm standing and i'm alive and i'm 28 years old i basically wasted my childhood life just worrying about if i was gonna wake up the next day and it was something scary that i lived that traumatized me but now when the doctors tell me stuff i really like yes i take precautions but i don't take it to the heart where it's like, damn, am I going to live to see tomorrow no more? Because at the end of the day, God has the last word. And if that's what God wants, hey, it's, it's, his, it's him that, you know, he's the king of all kings. He decides when to, I'm going to mark your number and I'm, you're coming home. Like, that's how I see it. I don't really see, like, yes, I, I I'm a little worried, but at the same time, it's like, I can't. I can't let that affect me and I can't stop living life because I already, I dealt with so much in my past, especially with like on health, on my health situation, because I have not been a healthy, you could basically say a kid, teenager, now adult, like I literally, my whole childhood life and teenager life, I lived in and out of the damn hospital, in and out of the damn hospital. Now as an adult, basically, I'm really fucking living the same thing in and out of the hospitals, you know, for checkups and all this crap. And at the end of the day, it's for my own, it's for my own health, for my own good. But sometimes doctors can tell you shit to scare the shit out of you and you'll be like, sometimes they're right. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes they're right. But sometimes when you're someone like me and you done got so much like, oh, but this and this and oh, you're not going to live to see this day. Oh, like. You say, man, fuck this shit. I only live once. I don't got time to be worrying about, oh, are they correct this time or not? Like, I'm living day by day. And, like, today, this morning, yesterday I went to the doctor. As y'all know, I had to give them a urinate sample. That's where they're, like, they told me, if, you know, anything. 
we're gonna call you and sure enough this morning it was around 806 i think or 804 they call i got a phone call from my doctor telling me that i had to he wanted me to go back and give another sample but i told him i'm like hey man i'm working right now and as y'all know i barely started my job I, well, i'm probably I'm, I'm about to be a month there um i started this job and i love my job and I just couldn't be like, oh, you know, I got to go, like, because it doesn't work that way. Cause my schedule is real busy right now. I've been real busy, especially for the holidays. I'm not saying my health is not important. Yes, my health is very important. But like I told him, man, can't you just give me some medicine to try to kill the infection or what? And then he said, yeah, and like, since I have a long list that I'm allergic to medications, he's like, if this medication, if you're allergic to then we're gonna have to stop it and i would probably have to get like hospitalized for like seven days or five days some shit like that he said but i really don't want to get hospitalized because i fucking hate having ivs i hate it it's the most fucking shitty shit to ever fucking feel this last time that i had surgery i had two in both arms and of course on this arm they fucked up my vein right here by like nearby my angel like if you touch it you could literally feel it like where it moves my vein and it freaking hurts though especially right now with the cold it freaking hurts so i do not like i do not like ivs i'm not scared of needles because of course i have tattoos on me and tattoos are like basically a little bit more painful but to me not as painful because it's like yeah it's like it feels like they're just carving in your skin and like the pain is there for a minute but when you have a damn iv in you have the damn iv in you so of course it's bothering you and the people say oh well it's just a little plastic tube yeah well that plastic tube irritates the shit out of me i do not like ivs i fucking hate them with a passion like if they're giving me a shot or taking out blood like it's it's no biggie but with an iv it just it's just annoying and it's irritated basically it's not that, oh, I'm scared to have it in me. No, it's just irritated and it's annoying and I do not like it. So I was praying to God that I could hold these pills down and not throw them up. And I actually got a little reaction, but I was like, hey, fuck it. I'm going to act like the reaction ain't there because I do not want to end up in a hospital. Like, hell no, I refuse to end up in a damn hospital. I refuse, but... um. Yeah, though, uh, that's what's going on with me. But I hope everybody's been having a great day. I hope y'all have a great night. Live life to the fullest. And remember, fuck what everybody says about you. You only live once. Do you. Do what your heart wants you to do. Don't do what other people want you to do. At the end of the day, everybody, we get to live our lives the way we fucking want to live your life. If you want to be a drunk, be a drunk. If you want to fucking be a pothead, you be a pothead, man. If you want to fucking be whatever the fuck you want to be, man, you fucking be. You don't let nobody stop you. At the end of the day, it's your life. Don't let nobody judge you. I'm telling you that why? Because I, all my life I had people criticize me, judge me. But at the end of the day, I said, fuck y'all, YOLO, it's my life, I'm living it how I please. Because at the end of the day, I'm a big believer in the man up above. And in his book, it says, live life as you please. You don't have to please anybody else. The only person we have to please is him. So at the end of the day, ask him for forgiveness. Because at the end of the day, a judgment day will come and that's one person we will have to bow down and have to face an answer to him you ain't got answer to anybody else whether it's your mama your daddy your brothers your sister your auntie your grandma your grandpa your cousins your friends nobody that's one person if you're scared of anybody be like me don't be scared of your mama your daddy your grandma your auntie your cousins your nephew your nieces your brothers your sisters your kids don't be scared of none of that be scared of him because he's the one that will he has the last word he's the one that's going to judge us at the end of the day so at the end of the day i say live life to the motherfucking fullest and don't ever let nobody stop you and don't ever let nobody put you down just keep your head up high keep grinding keep on pushing because that's what life is about keep on pushing make this money nah not really but well yeah make money you know what i'm saying but man at the end of the day whatever you believe in whatever you dream your dreams are you could be whatever you want to be 
if you do not believe in the creator i'm nobody to judge you or criticize you but at the end of the day i i love i love jesus christ i live for him and that's the person that's the only person i fear i don't fear the devil fuck the devil i don't fear anybody else at the end of the day, he got my back. He's always had my back. And I'm here to tell y'all that right here through camera. Because at the end of the day, I could have been gone a long time ago. But he has me here for a reason and a purpose. I don't know what that reason and that purpose is still. But at the end of the day, I'm still here thanks to him who has always had my back and never lets me down. No matter if nobody on this earth has my back, he's one person who always has my back. When I feel... Like times are rough, like times are tumbling, like I have lately I've been feeling like I have the world on my shoulders. I feel like nobody understands me, nobody understands my pain. But I know he understands my pain. I cry to him every day, every night, and ask him, please guide me the way. Help me help me see why he has me on this earth. And if it's preaching to you, I'm gonna preach to you. <laughs> but nah, I love all my team, I love all my fam. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for being a part of my team, a part of my fam. And much love, man. If you feel like nobody loves you, just know I love you. Just know I'm fighting with you. Whatever you're fighting, whether you're fighting cancer, whether you're fighting autism, whatever, whatever you're fighting, whatever the case is, just know I'm standing by your side. Because at the end of the day, I support cancer a thousand percent because I done lost four ants, my only ants that I have, I lost all of them to cancer, I lost my uncle, my two uncles, I lost my cousins, I lost a few cousins to cancer, and man, you know what, life gets hard, life gets rough, we miss them, but at the, at the end of the day, I know they're in a better place, I lost my grandfathers, both of my grandfathers from heart attacks, but at the end of the day, I love them, I have a, a special place in my heart, and that's where they will always be. I treasure all the moments, all the memories. But at the end of the day, we got to stay humble, keep pushing, and we can't be bitter. Let them rest in peace. Yes, I miss them every day. I post about them basically every other day. Like, I ain't going to lie. I miss them, but I'm not being bitter. It's just to show that, hey, I haven't forgot about them, that they're still in my heart. They're still in my mind. I still think about them 24-7 of the day. But... To everybody who supports me, man, I really appreciate y'all. Y'all mean so much to me. Even though y'all think y'all don't, y'all do. I'm trying to do something real big because I want to I wanna give back to people who support me. So y'all just stay tuned and we're going we gonna to grind and we're going to make it to the top because I ain't never going to stop. Remember that. I pray for everybody all over the world. Not just for my loved ones, but for everybody all over the world, the whole nation, whether you're in the United States, whether you're in Mexico, Canada, wherever you may be, Australia, India, Jerusalem, anywhere you may be in this world, in this planet, man, I pray for everybody every day. Everybody, though, don't forget, though, stay safe. And like I always say, if you're drinking, get a designated driver. If you don't care about your own life, at least care about others because there's people out here that want to live there's other people out here fighting bigger ba bigger battles than what we're fighting so let's just think about that way always stay positive leave the negative out your mind because you got to stay on your grind don't ever waste your time remember that though and remember if you love somebody hold on tight to them because tomorrow isn't promised neither is today and as you can see my ear is red than a motherfucker because the side effects of the medicine but i'm gonna be all right though but thanks for watching today's vlog and i will see y'all in tomorrow's vlog god bless and i'm out love the one and only your boy mtz i'm out chill